So we're standing in front of the MX600 machine. Um, this machine has extremely small wire capability all the way down to 8 tenths diameter. The MX600 has the ability to hold incredible surface finishes, uh, specifically in carbide. Uh, we can get down to surface finishes of two RA micro inch, um, depending on uh, wire diameter and workpiece thickness. Trent, how important is wire size in the wire EDM world? Okay, so uh, wire size is going to be uh, dependent on what you're looking for for uh, corner radius requirements, so size. Um, you really don't want to go to smaller wire unless you have to. So if you need a 3,000th corner radius, um, we wouldn't be able to cut that with a 10,000th wire. We'd have to use um, 4,000th wire in this case. So that's really what dictates what wire size you're going to actually choose. In the case of the MX600, what makes that machine stand out, the one we're standing beside here? Okay, so this machine uh, stands out by a couple features. Um, this is our oil uh, wire EDM machine, so as you can see behind me, it's actually cutting in dielectric oil, more like a sinker, uh, than a traditional wire EDM, which would be cutting in water. So, first feature we'll talk about is uh, wire capability. So basically, this machine is capable to run very small wire. Um, we're able to go down to a uh, wire diameter of actually 8 tenths. So that's currently what's running uh, behind us. Um, it's pretty incredible, actually. I mean, uh, a human hair is roughly two to three thousandths in diameter, so this wire is about a third of that. It's crazy that you can cut with such a tight, like a, such a tiny wire. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> it's, like I say, it's, it's you know, actually uh, application specific, of course. Um, you know, again, you wouldn't want to run it unless you have to, but uh, <laughs> we do have the capability to do it. So what does running such a small wire size make available to the shops that use it? Um, so generally, uh, cases where you want to use a small wire um, is always, again, intricate geometry, small corner radii. Um, usually geometry involves going into a small included angle where they need that internal corner as sharp as possible. So. If you can imagine maybe um, a really small gear uh, or spline, maybe the tooth height is only 5,000. So um, traditional larger wire, you can't even get inside the, uh, in between the teeth to form the detail. So in this case, we need to use um, something very, very small. Um, industries, maybe we see this type of work, um, maybe molding industry, micro molding, um, uh, medical industry, uh, really small, small parts, surgical parts, things, things of that nature. Uh, we see it sometimes in tool and die, um, high-speed stamping, uh, maybe very small form tools. Um, again, just extremely small detail. Yeah, you mentioned oil. Normally, when I think wire EDM, I'm thinking water. Right. So, is this is it a common to have oil in a machine? It's not. So this is the only machine that we have that's actually oil-based. Um, the oil has had um, s several significant advantages. Um, one uh, being the other main feature of this machine, the service finish capability. So those are gonna allow us to get better service finishes, uh, specifically in carbide. Um, so the uh, service finish we can hold actually, you know, we can hold down to two, micro, two RA micro wrench or even better than that, depending on wire size and um, material thickness uh, in carbide. Um, this can pretty much eliminate or virtually eliminate the need to uh, do any post-process polishing. Are there any other benefits that you get from using an oil instead of the water? So also with carbide, um, if the material sits in, let's say, water for a very extended amount of time, um, the cobalt binder can actually leach out of the carbide. You can get degradation of the carbide. So that doesn't happen in the oil machine. So in the dielectric oil, there's no degradation of the carbide. So um, that also helps a lot. Trent, now you're talking about an 8 tenths wire, how small it is compared to the human hair. Obviously, there's a lot of advantages, but you've also got to be able to thread that wire. Sure. H how does that happen on the MX600? So the machine is able to auto-thread itself, and it actually has to be able to because, honestly, there's no way you can manually thread that wire. Um, there's no way to manually push it through the guy because the wire has no rigidity. So, um, of course, your thread height is limited, um, probably half inch in height, I would say, is probably about maximum to thread the wire, but the machine is able to auto-thread itself. What else can the MX600 do to help get that pristine surface finish? So 
the generator on this machine is more typically like a sinker. So um, the sinkers have the ability to actually um, invert the polarity. So this machine also has that ability. So typically current flows from the wire to the workpiece and the workpiece takes more damage in this case, gives us higher power, faster cutting speed. Um, if we invert the polarity, we're actually changing the current flow from the workpiece to the wire. So the wire takes more damage. So in cases uh, when we're trying to get down to the uh, you know, more mirror finishes, the last couple passes, we actually invert the polarity and run with the reverse polarity. That helps us get that um, extremely good finish. And with such a tiny wire, we're talking 8 tenths, how small that is even compared to a human hair, is there anything on the MX600 to make sure like that wire is even there? Uh, yeah. So. The uh, machine has, of course, you know, you can see the wire. If you look close, you get some light on it, whatnot. But um, there is, if you look just above the upper head, um, there's a small bale that rests against the wire. And um, basically, this can tell us how smoothly the wire is running. So if you see that thing jerking around a lot, that can kind of maybe um, highlight any type of slippage or things like that, because there's really no way to catch any of that stuff, you know, until you just have a problem. So that kind of gives us an indication of that.